If you have not used PixEdit earlier, you will find it useful to start off with this video in order to become familiar with the functionality through an overview of various windows and tools in PixEdit. This video will also show you how to configure PixEdit's user interface to best suit your preferences and type of work. During normal work, you will usually have one or two windows visible in PixEdit at the same time. This is sufficient for doing the most common operations such as scanning and page manipulation. In this video, we will show almost all windows and tools at the same time in order to give you an overview of PixEdit functionality. Just remember that unless you have a very large screen with high resolution, you should hide the windows you aren't using during daily work. You can use these buttons to switch various windows in PixEdit on or off. We will now switch on several windows in PixEdit and give you a brief introduction for each window. We will provide further details about each window in later videos here at PixEdit.com. The Scan window, also called Scan Bar, is used for scanning and for configuring the after-scan processing such as document separation and other types of post-processing. Just like any other window in PixEdit, Scan Bar can be relocated, resized, or detached from PixEdit. To detach and move Scan Bar to another location on the screen, click the header and drag it to its new position. To remove Scan Bar, click the X in the upper right side of the window. The main window in PixEdit shows one page at a time. The main window is used for page viewing, zooms, pans, page content editing, and quality inspection. The main window is the only window in PixEdit that cannot be switched off. The Page Composition window plays a very central role in PixEdit for page navigation and document composition. By using drag and drop, you can move pages within a document, or even move pages between open documents. You can also drag entire PDFs, Word files, and many other file types directly from Windows Explorer as pages into the Composition window. To learn more about manipulating pages, you will want to have a look at the video dedicated to the Composition window here at PixEdit.com. Here's the Search window. The Search window is used to find text in documents which have been OCR'd. Windows operating systems have an excellent file explorer, but in some cases you will find it useful to have a dedicated file browser window located directly in PixEdit so you can compose new documents by dragging thumbnails directly into the composition window as new pages. You can also drag documents from the file browser directly into PixEdit's main window as figures onto a document page. Naturally, PixEdit's file browser offers the same drag and drop functionalities as found in Windows Explorer. To change the content on a document page, such as inserting new text, changing schematics, enhancing pictures, and so on, you will find it useful and sometimes necessary to use the Tool Style window. The Tool Style window changes its content depending on the selected tool. If you, for example, select the Text tool, the content of the Tool Style window will change so you can change text font, font size, and so on. If you select the Measure tool, the Tool Style window will display Length and Area Calculator. If you select other tools on the toolbar, the Tool Style bar will change accordingly. The Blow Up window magnifies the area around the cursor when moved over the main window. You will find the magnifier useful when you want to digitize an exact position in the main window without having to zoom in. When the cursor is moved slowly over a document page in the main window, PixEdit will automatically increase the digitizing accuracy and show this in the magnifier. In other words, PixEdit is like having a digital version of an automatic transmission to remove the need for manual zooming. If you are only working with scanning and page composition, you can safely hide this window. The color selector is used to select the color of new graphics such as lines or text you insert on a document page. If you don't work with page content editing, you can remove this window. Just like with the window in PixEdit, you can also move and hide collections of tools on the toolbar. To move a collection of tools, click, then drag the dotted area of the tool collection to its new position. 
You can also loosen the tool collection like this. Then hide it by clicking an X in the upper right corner. As an alternative to customize your toolbars and windows, you can choose between several predefined configurations in Tools, Options. The last window we will have a look at in this video is the Dock Server window. When scanning Office documents, you will probably prefer to have them de-skewed, separated, and cleaned up, as well as process each separate document with OCR in order to make them searchable. In contrast to traditional software, the Dock Server window in PixEdit does this in the background while you continue to scan the next batch of documents. The scanner's speed and capacity is therefore fully utilized. At the very same time as processing previously scanned batches, the Dock Server window can also execute a number of other tasks. For example, Dock Server can, at the same time you scan with a 100 page per minute scanner and process previously scanned batches, also monitor and process a large number of network folders that are continuously being filled with documents from your company's fleet of multifunctional devices or other types of document producing equipment. Doc Server processing is based on profiles, meaning you can dedicate different types of processing to various document sources and scanners. In the Doc Server window, you can at any time view processing status such as how many documents have been queued for processing, or if you are technically oriented, see how many processor cores Doc Server is currently using. Doc Server supports drag and drop, meaning you can drop files from Windows Explorer directly into the folder names in each Doc Server line. Doc Server continues to process documents even if you hide this window. In later videos here at PixEdit.com, we will have a much closer look at how to configure and use Doc Server and processing profiles.